Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Far End of the Bench podcast, episode 198. We are live here in Denver, Colorado, and uh, this week, as a Denver show, we have to talk about it. Yes, the Russell Wilson walked back in to Denver, Colorado, and won. He didn't play, didn't do anything, but he won. Got himself a pity ball, but he didn't didn't do anything. Um, look, it's a, it was a tough weekend this past weekend. My center session this week is going to be uh, focused on uh, Russell Wilson and obviously the pity ball and the ball be given to him after the game. Obviously, the Steelers uh, give 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 a ball to the, to the guys that put, beat their former team. I don't know if you can say Russell Wilson Willis beat us because he definitely didn't because um, he definitely beat us a lot in the last two years uh, with, his, with his own play and wearing orange and blue. Um, but he uh, he came through for his team and, and, and gave filled up a lot of great water bottles for them. Um, at least gave out at least five high fives in between each play. Uh, did a very good job being a good teammate. Uh, it was uh, it was it was interesting. As someone live there is obviously brutal we're booing the heck out of him and it was a uh interesting experience seeing a guy that is being paid 50 million dollars to not play for your team and a guy that would play as poor of a performance as you can um where you trade for a guy and trade all his assets for a guy and he walks in and there's nothing like i said look he's the third third string emergency quarterback he's the only third string emergency quarterback in the league that dresses up by the way full full outfit full, full pads helmet all the above and he's the only guy in the league that does that. And and for whatever reason, uh, he must have thought that he was going in to need the ball at the end of the game. Because I, I was there, obviously. I, I, I My tickets are on the opposing – or my family's tickets are on the opposing sideline. So I got to see firsthand Russell Wilson put on his helmet and start ca- talking to Mike Tomlin and be like, I want to knee this ball down when, when, he, when, when the Steelers were going to win the game. Eventually, they uh, three and out. They didn't get the first down, so they had to kick it away, and the Broncos had a chance. Hail Mary chance. It wasn't much of a chance, but Hail Mary chance. So he didn't get his one shining moment like he did. But in the end, he got a game ball, and, and he will not play another down of football in his life. Let's keep it a buck. You probably won't. So uh, good for you. Uh, hopefully you, your career thus far before the Broncos got you in the Hall of Fame because Justin Fields is going to be the starter for the, for the Pittsburgh Steelers, and he will not be, he, they will not look back. Plain and simple, they would not look back. And look, he hasn't done anything outlandish to 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 win a job, but he hasn't done anything outlandish to lose a job. And they're two zero. And so I look, Russell Wilson, good for you. Glad you're getting paid all this money. Glad Sierra is on your arm still, and but you still get to live in shitty ass Pittsburgh and at a place that not many people love to live in. And and you get pity footballs. So look, congratulations, but it is what it is. So without further ado, let's, we got a packed episode with PAO Championship. Championship re- recap, NFL pick 'em, lots of stuff going on. Let's get into the episode. 